AEW has fired the collision commentator, Kevin Kelly. This is Kevin Kelly, who's the for, who's the former uh, WWE announcer and the former announcer for Ring of Honor. And so they, they, they've decided to cut the collision commentator over the Twitter, or, or you call it X now, I guess, outburst. Um, so Kevin Kelly just joined AEW last year. And that, so announcer Kevin Hel Kelly has been fired by All Elite Wrestling following a series of tweets in which he's shared frustrations within the company. This news, as first reported by T PW Torch, comes shortly after wrestling fans noticed that his profile was removed from the roster page of the AEW website. He was absent from uh, the Thursday's collision tapings from Atlanta, um, which was an ominous sign about his All Elite status. And it was just uh, Tony Schiavone and Nigel McGuinness that called the action. Um, so Ke Kevin Kelly had gone on a bit of a Twitter outburst um, last weekend, and with this, he he claimed that it was um, um, it was the, the announcer Ian Riccoboni that they had libelled him, and that he was being pushed aside and 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 Khan's promotion. And with this, I don't at this point here that he was just you know it was just like late at night and he was just going to a bit of a rant or he maybe had a drink or two or it was maybe one of those things where it was kind of like calculated in his mind and he just wanted to get out there he, he wanted to get out of, AD, out, out of AW and he wanted to get fired um you know it, it didn't surprise me when I heard about the rant that now they've decided to let him go um you know with um when Leo Rush had his um uh, bit of a rant on uh, Tony Khan blasting him after you know the whole thing with Big Swole who got fired and then you know as as Tony Khan was promoting the show he put a dig in there about Big Swole and commented and saying that you know she just wasn't really a good wrestler or something like that um so it didn't surprise me that Khan just decided to 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 to, to just be just you know be done with him um with this stuff though with Kevin Kelly so Apparently, with this stuff, um, the Riccoboni has a Discord server, and Riccoboni said someone asked him about it, and he had said something about you know, he says also had no idea he was going to promote QAnon movies, or else I might have made a different suggestion. I suppose that his name was always in the mix, but that QAnon stuff kind of breaks my heart a bit. And I, and I don't know if that was the case of he, it, it broke his heart or maybe he always just had it in for Kevin Kelly. And my, my guess is probably this guy's a liberal and one of these kind of like woke snowflakes. And and I believe it was over the Sound of Freedom film that he had tweeted something about that. And then, you know, because people who, you know, are, are concerned with child trafficking going on in the world and, and watch Sound of Freedom, got something from it thought it was a good movie, emotion, very emotional, but I guess these people are far-right extremists, right? And and I don't know if that point, Riccoboni made a point to, he pointed it out to people in the company, or Tony Khan, and, and made a big stink and tried to make him look bad. And if that's the case, that's kind of, you know, that that's unnecessary. I mean, political views, you know, our political views, it's, it, it's none of our business what the political views are of, of other people. And if it is something that he was, you know, the, you know, Kevin Kelly, Christian guy, and he was, you know, and, you know, with the whole thing, the whole what was it, tagline with, you know, the Sound of Freedom film, you know, God's children are not for sale. But we, we could all agree that that should be the case. It was very a weird reaction with the left wing all of a sudden that, you know, 10 years ago, that was a big thing, you know, to, to fight human trafficking was would have been one of their main social causes. But now it's changed now that they're labeling the people on the right who've who've been into this stuff with you know with the sound of freedom film really into that we, we are they're far right and they're the bad guys um so i, I guess i'm guessing that rick Aboni got caught up in in that um bullshit but with this here he was saying stuff that um yeah he's going into the whole thing about you know the whole, you know, linking it to Pizzagate, which again, I don't know about Pizzagate, you know, Alex Jones was getting into that stuff, but then Alex Jones later on apologized for that and took it back, so I don't know if that was just one thing they had already threatened to, you know, a lawsuit, or, you know, he was already getting sued, you know, millions and, and became billions, you know, with the whole thing with the, the, the Sandy Hook kids, their parents, or, or maybe they threatened his life, and that's why he ended up apologizing in Info, on Infowars around, I think that was 2017 time. Um, but he makes that link, and it's, you, you know, and 
I, and then he, you know, he's saying, oh, yeah, wants to lower taxes, whatever, government intervention and things, okay. Promoting a movie whose funder just got busted for some deviation. Yeah, so one of the executive producers had been something, you know, on the trafficking, it was it was somebody about accused of, you know, groping a, 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 groping a female, and I believe he did admit to that. Um, but I don't think, you know, that's, that, I mean, to me, those aren't things that, you should be bringing into the like workplace and trying to like cancel somebody over um you know your political views are your own and just because you you know you you like that movie you got something from it uh the sound of freedom i i, I don't believe it's not right that people should be making a big stink and, and bringing that you know into the in, in, you know into the workplace um you know i know people who you know are communists and you know an ideology that essentially you know, was responsible for killing 100 million people, but I'm not going to try and get them the sack from their job and, and mess with their livelihood, you know. I And that probably, uh, you know, with the side of the, on the culture that I'm on, that wouldn't work. <laughs> that would not work. But try and cancel Sunday for having conservative views, you're, 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 in, with, you're in with a very good chance of, of, of fucking with her, fucking with her, fucking with her livelihood, basically. Um... With this stuff here, and um, he, he, he was going on here maybe saying that um, Kevin Kelly maybe had uh, a bit of a, an agenda against him. Um, he did say, though, that he hel had helped them out early on. Um, but there seems to have been problems even going back as far as 2017 that Rick Aboni and um, Kevin Kelly supposedly had. Um, but he had said he, he tried to remain cordial. He opened the door to... to uh, U Japan Pro Wrestling to me, but there seemed to have been some digs there and um, something about somebody tagged him in a post and then he replied about, oh no, because I was on air. And then, but then he, I guess, threw him under the bus. He quote tweeted it saying, this is what was wrong with him and, and with uh, Ring of Honor. Um, so maybe he had been a bit hard on him, uh, Kevin Kelly with, with Rick Aboni. Maybe he didn't make his time when they crossed paths earlier on made it easy for him um you know with my videos i always try and you know provide some balance with this and you may see initially early on you may be watching this thinking oh well well steven you you seem to be on the side of kevin kelly no not necessarily with this one because with some uh this clip here that i'm, I'm about to show this was from cafe de rene his uh rene dupree's show on his youtube channel and um the the former um personality jason sensation uh jason sensation if you don't remember was the guy that was remember that uh the, the dx parody that they did of the nation of domination he was um dressed up as own heart and he did the whole thing you know the voice you know i'm a nugget forever woo that that whole thing and he had he made appearances on raw and done some stuff with, with wwf at that time around 1998 to 1999 and with this, Jason Sensation um, um, talks about how when, you know, he, he was doing like kind of like this announcing stuff and that, you know, Kevin Kelly was his boss. But basically from what he was saying that Kevin Kelly intentionally gave him um, a, a, a very hard time. And it does sound from what he, he was saying like was almost kind of like just kind of going out of his way to, 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 to you know, to sabotage um you know his uh his time there and i think in the end at the very end you know it didn't it, things didn't work out he wasn't there for that long jason sensation i think later on did um he has had some you know issues you know mental health problems and, and that may have played a large part in that you know he had be he had, there was that thing of him being you know suicidal and tweeting that he was going to go to raw and shoot himself that was like 10 9 or 10 years ago i seem to remember correctly um, but with this clip, I'll play this clip and I'll react as I'm, as it's going along. So here we go. Yeah, because Kevin Kelly was the head of developmental for a fucking uh, a small period of time there. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and so, go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. He so he he had say over everything and man, like he really had it in for me from the time I got there. And mm -hmm. so rather than put me in the uh, calling the action booth with him he put me as an announcer in the ring and i mean i could announce any match in any different voice but i was doing my own voice which 
you know, you look at Samantha Irwin now, and it's like, I was kind of along the lines of how she does it. I was just, you know, putting all my heart and passion into announcing each wrestler or each superstar. And he cut me off at that and sabotaged that as well. He would just give me shit for that all the time. Like, the company doesn't want that from you. They don't want to see you trying to be Howard Finkel and scream your voice out to the epitome it can be. And no matter how many times I did it my own way, he would stop me from doing that. He said, you go in it and you say it like this, the way I'm saying it. And he's your boss. You mean, you got you to gotta listen to what your boss says. So all the tapes they were getting back, in the company from me on on the shows that, that we were filming in Memphis. It was just, they were getting a low key, you know, doesn't have heart or passion into anything he's doing. And it's because my boss was making me do it that way. Mm. And, and like, I'm just scratching the surface on some of the shit he put me through. I mean, I remember at a Burger King, <laughs> like I, I was getting a girl's number at this Burger King and this was after a show where all the boys stopped at the same Burger King. And she gave me her number. We were chatting it up. She gave me her number. And as soon as I had it in my hand, Kevin Kelly pulled the number out of my hand. And he's like, nope, you're not doing that. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he said, here in the South, she's black and you're white. And it's not going to work. And it's not going to be good on the company. And I'm like, this is what like what year are we in right here? Now this was 1999 or yeah, it was 1999 at the time. But I'm like, what? So there you have it. There. So he's basically saying that you know, I mean, this is you know, you know, racist allegations essentially right here. That you know, this guy uh, Jason met met a girl, a black girl, and, and a Burger King um, was going to give her his number. And, or she gave him his number, sorry, and then right away he just takes it away from him, and because oh no, because you're you're white, she's black, that can't happen. And again, this is 1999, so I don't see how that. I mean, how you know Kevin saying Kevin Kelly saying it would be a bad look in the company, how a guy Jason Sensation that wasn't really that heavily featured. This is the 99, the height of the attitude era, that him potentially dating a black girl would be bad. And it just so it just seems you're adding not not you're, you've got bullying allegations. I would say it sounds like he was bullying him, making his life going out of his way to make his time very difficult, um, preventing him from really getting over, and 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 you you, you know using what made him unique and, and, and stand out, but then just turning him into a bland, uh, monotonous you know announcer. But then on top of that, you know you're you're preventing the guy from you know the guy is just you know but you know. Could, could be a potential girlfriend there, but then you, you've made it into a racial thing too. So that that, that sounds proper uh, messed up right there. What year are we in? Like, th that doesn't make any sense to me at all. And he's like, no, it's not a good look and it's not a good idea for you to have her number. And like, this guy would just be on me and things like this. And I, I hate to even get rolling on it. Like, I'm, I'm leaving out some of the, some of the stuff that's really, that really messed with me over the years and had an effect on my mental health. But, what the fuck? Yeah. I think this guy had a power trip. Like, he just wanted yeah. to exercise his authority over people. Especially yeah. because you're new, right? Like, that's bullshit. See, that's why, well, where is he now? Yeah. Did you ever ask him, Jason? You ever say, what's the problem? No, like, at the time, I just, I, I knew what was going on. Like, he was just, he was out to get me. And I had already experienced it with Michael Hayes when I was supposed to. I was supposed to take over for his slam gems in the company where he was Doc Hendricks and he was right. doing whatever that guy does. Now you're selling the local shows. Yeah. So Scott, Scott Stamford does it now. Okay. So I was supposed to take over for those. And he was sabotaging me doing that, going back to the company saying that I'm missing radio shows and all these things that weren't happening. And it just, just buried me in that way when I went in to, to, to the office in Stamford. He took me out of the meeting with Kevin Dunn and was like, you. Yeah, and he's another one, Michael Hayes, that you hear stories about how, how difficult he is and, and, and from budding talent. And uh, he, he's the one that seemed to be going out of his way to, 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 to um, mess with, with Jason Sensation. But yeah, so that, that, that was, you know, the whole thing about, you know, meeting the, the girl in the Burger King. I mean, that is some messed up shit right there, you know. You know, you know, 1999, we're talking about, you know, 
it, we were, you know, you know, the civil rights movement you're talking about, that was back in the, the you know, what, 1967, um, you know, that, that could have been a, a thing, um, and, you know, like a big problem, you know, in the, you know, the fifties or whatever, but, but at the same time, you know, you, 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 you know, a, a white guy going out your way to say, oh no, to another white man, oh no. You, 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 you can't, you, that can't be happening with you and a black woman. That's not a good look in the company. It's like, like, what the fuck? That's just some dumb, well, it's, that's just some stupid racist uh, shit right there. If it's true, if, you know, and again, these are just accusations. Allegedly, this stuff was happening um, when, when Jason Sensation was in uh, WWF at the time, uh, working under our Kevin Kelly. Um, but in, in the uh, the live stream as well, Rene Dupree was speaking about how Kevin Kelly, when he, Rene had done a tryout and he was in the ring doing some stuff and then Kevin Kelly just said to him, you should just get out of the business. And you think, well, Rene Dupree was like a pro he was like a guy in bodybuild in bodybuilding, you know, very much, you know, you know, very young guy. He sounded like a very young guy and he had the look. And unless, you know, that was maybe Kevin Kelly, maybe because he was very young and he thought, well, you're too young for this, you need to go out there in the real world and get real experience elsewhere. If he meant it in that way, maybe, but then um, but then I don't know, maybe, you know, who, who was he though? You know, Kevin Kelly, what, what did he know? I mean, I mean, Kevin Kelly, don't get me wrong. I, I thought it was an all right announcer. I thought back like 98, 2000, you know, you know, he, okay. He did more of the Sunday night heat commentary and a raw as occasion, occasionally, but you know, as far as like a backstage announcer goes, he was, you know, he was okay, I guess. But, um, I think, I think he was maybe Sunday Kevin Kelly that maybe he just has a bit of a higher opinion of himself, you know? I always felt that, like, when you hear about him doing Ring of Honor, he was kind of, like, put up there kind of on a pedestal, and it was like, well, I mean, if it was like if he was supposedly always that good, then why didn't he stay in WWE? That would be, you know, my question. I think he had, was in WWE, got fired around 2003, was maybe at MLW for a year, then he just vanished, I think, from wrestling altogether for about six years. But then he's another guy, I think he's he's wrestled himself a bit, and like, on the independent circuit, and... um but Rene Dupree was even telling the story about, you know, Kevin Kelly about trying to apply a figure four leg lock to, and, and showing that to a bunch of, like, potential, you know, like, tryouts. And the guy's not, like, a properly trained wrestler, but he's, he's, he's trying to put a figure four leg lock in somebody and he couldn't do it the right way. Some w w weird, weird stuff there, but... Um, you know, the Kevin Kelly thing just made me think, you know, it was, it was hearing that podcast um, the, the other night with those guys, and I, and I, and I thought... You know, he, he's whining and crying about saying that, oh, oh you know, he's lost his job and, you know, oh, I guess he, he's going to be cancelled. Um, but, you know, in life, you know, everything comes full circle and um, and maybe th this is kind of karma for Kevin Kelly and he got what was coming because um, I think it's from what you hear about this stuff that he did, it sounds like he, he comes off like a very insecure guy and he needed to hold people down. And Jason Sensation had, you know, talent. I mean, you go back and listen to his impressions. Some of them are really, like, funny. They could have utilized them more, uh, n no doubt. Um, uh, you know, the Owen Hart one is pretty funny. There's a couple other ones he does are, are really, you know, um, really hilarious. And, you know, I mean, again, Kevin Kelly as an announcer was okay. But at that time, you had JR and King at their peak, you know, 98, 2000. So Kevin Kelly wasn't going to get a sniff in there, but, you know... Um, maybe he felt politically they had undercut him. I don't know. But um, I think my overall opinion on this stuff about Kevin Kelly, if he's been fired, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, him complaining like that and, and knowing how Khan reacted before with Leo Rush, it doesn't surprise me. Um, but perhaps, so this maybe is, you know, karma. You know, what goes around comes around. And maybe uh, on this one, Kevin Kelly, perhaps he did get what he get what he deserved um but that's my thoughts on that guys so feel free to like hit the subscribe button and leave a comment let me know what's your thoughts on this whole thing with the whole business with um kevin kelly and did, did somebody potentially try and sabotage him get him out of the company um you know what what what, what was it um you know do you, do you believe he had been screwed over unfairly um but give me your take on it and, and leave a comment but um that's me for now guys thank you very much bye